Hey everybody, this is Brian. Today we'll be covering arrays. What are arrays? Arrays are a simple way of making groups of variables. Let's say you need to know the age of a couple people. We'll say int x equals zero. That's what you're used to. Let's back up a little bit here. Throw some brackets in there. And now say new int bracket and let's say we want to know the age of three people. Now what have we done here? This looks kind of weird. You see we have the int that you're used to and then some brackets. Brackets denotes an array and then the name of the array which is x and we're saying that it's a new array and then bracket 3. Well what you're saying is you want an array of integers named x and you have to create a new array of integers and we're going to give it 3. 3 is the maximum limit here. Now what you've done is created three variables in memory called x. They're all members of the array. We'll do a for each loop and we'll say for uh, int m in x and we will just do a system dot out dot print oops print line this is kind of a, one of those do as I say not as I not as I do days all right there we go system out print line we're gonna print m so what we're gonna say is for each integer in x because remember x is an array that contains multiple integers print it out and you see we have three zeros why are they zeros well you haven't done anything with these for example, let's say you say x, and we'll say x2, and we'll say he's 45 years old. Now you notice how you're using these brackets. What you're saying is the array x slot 2, or the variable in there, make it 45. Now when you run this, you notice the third one is 45. Why is that? Well, arrays are zero based, meaning you always start with zero. This is zero, this is one, this is two and to kind of show you what I'm talking about here we'll say 0, 1, 2. So we'll say 0 is the youngest at 2 years old 1, let's say 1 is 17 year old and 2 is 45. You can see that 0 is 2, 1 is 17 and 3 is 45 and we're just looping through our array well, that's the basic array. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.